Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition, I'm going to be doing a video on the DaVinci cartridge. Um, I haven't seen really a lot of videos on this. I've seen some that take them apart and other things like this. But I've never really seen one about how to really, uh, you know, tips on cartridges themselves, what's in them, how they work, how to really set them up uh, for the DaVinci printer. You know, maybe you've gotten one for a holiday gift. Um, maybe you're getting yourself one. Maybe somebody got you, got you one. And, and so, again, I kind of want to take, take um, you guys through uh, a little bit on the cartridge, how to store them. Uh, again, I haven't seen a lot of stuff. So... We're going to start out with um, one big tip I have, and, and I did this in the original DaVinci video, is uh, buying cartridges. I buy my cartridges through Amazon and basically only through Amazon. Um, unless I really got a steal, I probably would not get this cartridge elsewhere because typically if you have a problem with the DaVinci, it's in the cartridge. And we'll get to that in a minute, and uh, Amazon's return policy is just great. Uh, so anyways, that's why I just buy from them. I've never had a return one. I've had to return other things with Amazon and never had an issue. I'll put a link down below, um, to Amazon and the filament so you can check it out. Um, I really, and they seem to be competitive on price, so I haven't seen an issue with that. So anyways, first tip, uh, get your filament from Amazon. The, the second piece is it, it will probably look something like either one of these, um, most of the time, what you'll get is, is like this box. So uh, uh, DaVinci also sells a filament that comes on a spool. Uh, what you'll do is you'll get a spool, something like this. This is one that came out of a DaVinci cartridge. But uh, you'll get a spool like this, and then what you have to do is take this cartridge apart, put it in there, and then also put this chip in there. And we'll talk about this chip in a minute. Uh, but you put this in there, and then you've got to put it all back together. It's not too hard to take the cartridge apart, but it really is a pain. I think the refill cartridge was about $24.25, and the whole cartridge is like $27. So for a couple of dollars difference, I, I don't see a reason not just to get another cartridge and pop it in there and call it done. Um, so anyways, um, just, just my two cents as I get another cartridge. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to open up this cartridge. Um, and this is probably going to be a little bit... I'll uh, use these pliers and sheet a little bit. Now, uh, second tip, leave the cartridge in this plastic or in its container un until you need it. Uh, this will keep moisture out of the plastic. You know, e while ABS, unlike PLA, won't pick up too much moisture, it will pick up moisture and can create printer issues. So again, you know what we want to do is open this up and take the plastic off because we're gonna we're gonna actually set up and use this car through some discarded plastic over here so what you see is a couple different things you see this plug and you see big things caution remove this plug before using so um i forgot one time then remove this plug what this plug does is it stops this spool in here from spinning and guess what it causes you all kinds of headaches and, and basically the cartridge never worked right uh, afterwards, even after I took it out, took the plug out, uh, I, I don't know, just tugged so hard on the cartridge that it was a problem. So, anyways, uh, I got so many hands here. So, we're going to remove the um, the plug, and you can just discard it. The other piece is I turn turn it back around, make sure you're seeing it. Is this? So basically, you can lock the filament or unlock the uh, filament. So. Turn it this way to lock it, this way to unlock it. Make sure it's unlocked when you go to put it in your machine. So now why is this here? The reason this is here is because of this. So you can see this is taped up here. And, uh, you know, so it can't go back in the thing. But if when you go to change it, say you're printing this, this is either white or natural. So you're done with this. You want to put in a black cartridge. Well, if you don't lock this... Uh, what can happen is this can get pulled back. Now, one of the things I would recommend is, is another thing you might see here. There's a little bit of piece right there that the filament goes back into. So when you store it, I would lock the spool, put it back in there, and, and I would actually put a, maybe put a piece of tape over this too, like this again. Uh, but we're going to prepare this, and so I'm going to unlock it. 
and I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to pull this tape off. Now, what I what I suggest doing is, and you have to be a little bit careful because I have had, unfortunately, the the um, uh, plastic pull back in. So I pull out a little bit of the plastic, uh, so I have a bit out. And then the other thing I do is I take a pair of cutters uh, like this. Make sure I'm getting this in there. Just a little pair of cutters, and I cut the filament on an angle like this. And so there, there's an angle. I don't try to reuse it because there's a couple different pieces. Uh, let's get the cartridge down. Make sure it doesn't go back in there. Um, because this is pretty wanky, this, this piece of plastic, and you've got goop on here from the tape. D don't, don't try being cheap and saving this little bit of plastic. It'll just end up, you know, biting you in the long run. So anyways, uh, and then by cutting it at a bit of an angle, it will help it feed into the, well, the end on the cartridge feed into the extruder easier. Um, let's talk a little bit about what's inside here. I'm not going to actually take the cartridge apart. I've taken a number of these apart. What you have inside here is not very much, actually. So you have a spool that looks like this. This is one of the spools from it, uh, from another cartridge in here. And then what you do is you also have this chip, uh, which is a little prom of sorts, making sure I get it in the camera. Make sure you, yep, you see it. So there, there's the pins that, that it, it reads from. So basically a ground and a read-write, because it does write to it. And then the actual chip itself, and probably a couple surface capacitors, etc., on there. And uh, it's notched, so you can kind of see the little notch, white notch on it. I hope. And so, anyways, that sits in the in the bottom of this thing. And so you see how it has the white notch orientated like that. Get it over here so you can see that. Uh, so that goes in there. And the only other thing in there really is a, a, a pack of desiccant um, to keep keep it dry. So that's basically all that's in there, and then obviously it's plastic cartridge. You can, the way I usually do it is I take a regular flathead screwdriver and push this side down, push the regular screwdriver in here, and just pop all the way around it, and this, this cartridge will pop apart if you want to take it apart. Just when you put it back together, if you do that, again, paint, make note of how this uh, chip is and make sure you put this chip back in the same orientation so you don't damage your printer or chip. So that's important. Um, so the other piece I want to show a little bit of is um, is this, there, there's a lot of discussion how much you get for the money. So so this is the spool size uh, of of uh, in the Da Vinci cartridge, and this is your typical hatchbox spool size. So this is about one kilogram, and this is this as you see this cartridge is basically six. Make sure I got it on here. 600 grams. So it's about um, 400 grams, or it's a little more than half of this spool. Uh, this spool, I got it at Amazon. I think it was about 24 bucks. I got this cartridge at Amazon. I think this one, because this is black, uh, I got it for around $25 or so. It seems like some of the colors run different prices. For example, like violet is 27 but this one I paid like 25 So there is a little bit less plastic in, in, in this versus this for, and this is a little bit less money. Um, but it's just the way it is. Uh, you know, if you want to use the Da Vinci system, it'll cost you slightly more. Now, I did want to talk about, and I can't remember where I put the chip now. Um, but what's on this chip? You're, you're new to the, the, the Da Vinci. So what happens is the um, the computer inside the DaVinci printers read this chip, and it tells this chip tells the printer uh, number one how much filament lengthwise is on the uh, spool. It also tells it the heat and everything and, and other critical di you know um, specifications of this particular filament for the printer to print. And, and that's sort of the nice piece about this is at the end of the day, um, you know, if you have a re you know a, a regular, I guess I can call it that, a regular 3D printer where you're using like a Repetier host or something like that, and you have to input, here's your temperature, here's your feed rates, all that's on this chip. And really, well, that fell out, and that will fall out. Ah, so I guess it's a good thing, so you can just, it just pops back in. Uh, so, good demo, it does come out, but it, lock it in place. Anyways, um, 
So, so this this is part of what you're buying is the smarts of this chip. Now, you can you can get a, a, a reprogrammer because basically this is a reprogrammer. You notice it has the three pins, and then basically, and I can't find what I did where I set that uh, chip that I had out. Oh, here it is. So, so basically, what happens is these three pins when you set the cartridge on here. These three pins come in contact here. There's a there's an Arduino Micro in here. This hooks up uh, to a piece of software, and what it will do is will rewrite uh, this. Now um, X Y Z keeps changing the firmware, um, it, you know, to defeat you know resetters as as people are called. I, you know, I bought this. I really haven't used it because, to be honest with you, it's a bigger pain than just buying a new cartridge. You know, because Think about the time it take, would take you to rewind from that spool onto this spool. You know, now I've seen people come up with some fancy things where they set it in a, uh, set the uh, host spool in a, uh, you know, whatever you call the thing, you set the, the spools in, you print out spool holder, and then they, they create a thing for their drill that goes in here, and then they spin it on and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, for a couple bucks, to me, it's just, it, it just wasn't worth it at the end of the day in trying to keep up with not, because, you know, you can't update the firmware in here, and so you lose some functionality. It, you know, it's just like when you, you know, it was a big thing to jailbreak iPhones for a while. It, it just wasn't worth it at the end of the day, at least in my book. Now, I do want to show one other thing, because the, the chip does calculate on... Um, plastic it thinks it used or that it should use not that is used so this is something that you know i think is a little bit wasteful on on xyz part xyz printing's part you see as you can see i have a lot of plastic left now um i took this one apart actually because the printer said it was empty and you can see there's a lot of plastic on here there's also a fair amount of plastic left on this spool but you know there's probably triple on this spool and so i do think um, and I don't know, maybe they've improved it in the newer versions. I think sometimes failed prints uh, deducted the whole amount of, uh, of, of uh, linear footage from the chip. And, and what I mean by that, so, you know, when you send a print to the printer and, and say it would take, I don't know, six meters of filament, and you started to print it, something went wrong, you stopped it, I, I think it deducted that six meters of filament um, from the from the chip, and so this is maybe part of the reason. I think this might have been changed because again, I've had I've had the Duo now since March, and I've had a number of firmware upgrades, and I don't seem to be having the same results. So I, I'm thinking X Y Z may have known that and changed that because I haven't seen this since. This is one of my first spools. The other thing I want to talk about a little bit is storing the cartridges between usage. One of the things that I would recommend is getting some sort of container, potentially like this one. Let's see if I can get it up there. Uh, and then basically what, what you can do is you can open it up and you can lie the, the cartridges somewhat flat in there. And you can probably get two up about two wide and depending upon how you, you stack them in there and, and how you get it. And then put some desiccant in here to, to keep them dry. Again, with ABS, I, my personal opinion, it's not as particular as PLA. PLA, I think, tends to absorb water uh, a bit more uh, and get surface contaminants on a bit more than uh, ABS will. But still, it's good to have some desiccant, keep the humidity down, and keep these stored. I, I would not just store them, you know, sitting around on shelves or whatever um, because of, of moisture and, and that. So, Anyways, that's my, my other tip for, for storing um, uh, cartridges. So, anyways, uh, that pretty much covers this video that I wanted to do on cartridges. I can't think of anything else more I can share on the cartridge. Um, I'll do another video on installing the cartridge because one of the things, just uh, as in closing, uh, I, I seem to understand that there's also a set of pins in the printer that this has to make contact to and read and if it doesn't make contact and if it doesn't correctly read this chip then then obviously you have a problem and that's again where most of the DaVinci problems come in because again these chips aren't perfect and and everything else um, so anyways 
uh, that tends to be the biggest problem. But that's why I buy, buy my cartridges from Amazon, because if I have a problem, I just call up Amazon, they send me a sticker, or I can print out a sticker prepaid, and just I send it right back, get a refund or a replacement. So I've always been happy. So again, big suggestion. So hopefully this video helped explain a bit about cartridges. Please give it a thumbs up. It always helps us make more videos uh, when we have, um, you know, more viewership like that. And so we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.